Hello, welcome back. Today what we're gonna cover is how to make screw heads in your foam armor. Stay tuned and we'll get right at it. A lot of screw heads that I see in foam armor is generally a slot head, which is pretty simple. You just need a knife and you can cut out little slots. But sometimes you wanna have something that looks like a Phillips or Robertson or Torx. Let me show you how. Hey, and do me a quick favor, share this around a little bit. Throw it on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Reddit. It doesn't really matter that much to me, but sharing this around can mean an awful lot to me. So the first thing that I do is I take a Dremel tool and I put the sanding barrel on it and just make sure it sticks out a little bit. Then hit that into your foam and look at that, it makes perfect little indents. Now the next thing we need to do is take some twist tie material or wire, whatever you want to use, but I use twist ties and I just scraped off the outer sheathing. You don't want to be breathing the fumes of that stuff burning off when you attach it to your soldering iron. Now what you're going to need is that piece of wire, a screw bit, and your soldering iron and or wood burner. The screw heads I used are from one of those cheap little sets where you get the little micro bits. The reason why you'd want to use one of these is that it's a tiny bit and it has low thermal mass, meaning that it will heat up fairly fast. Now what I want you to do is take the wire that you have and tie the bit onto the end of your soldering tip. Use some pliers to tighten that wire up. It doesn't need to be too tight and you should be good. Plug it in and wait for that thing to heat up. Now while we're waiting for it to heat up, let's look at these bits. So large bits like this have a large thermal mass and they take forever to heat up. You want something just like that. Now this is a fun trick. I am using a friction pen and you can see me using that in a video up here on marking foam. The cool thing about this pen is, is with heat, those lines disappear. But this way we know that we're gonna be putting the bit into the center of the hole by just quickly marking out by hand. You don't have to be perfect, but this definitely helps you keep things looking proper. Now press your bit into the foam. You're gonna notice that it doesn't melt right away. I didn't let this heat up very long and it doesn't necessarily make the best hole with Torx, however, if you take your time and you heat it up a little faster or heat it up a little more, you'll find that it burns in quite nicely. Now here you notice that I've taken a different bit to see what I could do. And I'm going to go through a few different iterations on how fast I press it in, how long I hold it there. And I just practice a little bit. You'll find that some of these work out really well. So what I recommend is that you grab a bit and you test it out on a piece of scrap foam and eventually you're gonna find that right technique of speed and heat and you should be good to go. Pretty short and simple today. That is just something to give you that little extra detail to take your cosplay to the next level. Don't forget to hit subscribe, share if you like it, leave any comments below on how you would go about doing this if it's any different than my method. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. 